So, hi, my name is Nicole and I work in corporate communications at La Mobiliere. I'm responsible for our intranet and I'm also the product owner for the development of our intranet solution. Hello, my name is Nello D'Andrea. Call me just Nello. I work as a developer since 35 years and 15 years in the SharePoint field. And I'm passionate about SharePoint Online and SBFX. Back to you, Nicole. Thank you. We work for La Mobiliere, the oldest insurance company in Switzerland with 6,400 employees and 80 general agencies. We insure every third household and every third company in Switzerland. In our IT department, some 600 specialists ensure the smooth running of our systems and modernize our core IT systems. We also developed our intranet internally with our Scrum team two years ago. One of our colleagues' favorite solution we will show you today to personalize the user apps. We had following challenge. Our employees don't have to, time to waste. How can they quickly find and open the application they need whenever and in their preferred language. We had three main objectives. Firstly, our employees should be able to access their relevant apps from anywhere on the internet, anytime, and in their preferred language. Second, each colleague can choose and arrange their apps however they like. Last but not least, our corporate publishing team can easily maintain the app list, whether it's adding a new app, updating an existing one, or removing an old one. We are happy with the great solution that Nello has implemented for us. He is now showing us how it works, how to use it, and how he has developed it. So the implementation for the, of the user app is done with uh, two F SPFX solution and two SharePoint lists. The first SPFX solution is an application customizer that hook the menu widget in the SharePoint Online header. We use a technique with a JavaScript observer to ensure that the menu widget is always available in the SharePoint header. The SharePoint header changes when you scroll down, because becoming more compact. This happens when the SharePoint app inject new HTML elements into your DOM. The menu widget renders as a button. When you click it, you see a list of your pinned app and a link to the app management page. This is where our second solution, the web part, comes into play. The web part is the UI that user use to search, pin, or unpin an app. When I pin an app, it becomes available in my widget and vice versa. I can also reorder my pinned app to have them in my preferred order. The solution uses two lists. The first one, all apps, define the set of apps available in your corporate environment. It has built-in multilingual support and allows you to define a default language. The second list is managed entirely by the web part where user app preferences are saved. We also use a SharePoint index to support more than 5,000 users. So if you have a large organization, or then it will also work. So now let's share my screen and I will do a quick demo. Hope you see it. Okay, so we are here on, on the site where the customizer has already been pre-installed. So I see here the widget, can click on it and it opens a little menu. And when I scroll down, you can see that the SharePoint header get compact. And with this technique, JavaScript Observer, then we monitor the DOM and we inject uh, the, the widget another time. So it works very well. I can scroll back up and then I see uh, my my other widget, which, which is already uh, have been injected. I see here a list of my uh, pinned app. I just have one here. And when I click on this link, then I go to the management uh, page, which have already the web part pre-installed. So the web part is divided into three parts. The first part is the search box. 
This one is the my application uh, uh, part or component, and the last one, all the application which have not uh, been pinned. It's also the structure of the project with three React component. So when I pin an app, it will come under my application. And we have a little animation which showcases this. I can also unpin an app, then it comes, it comes down. And I can, for example, just pin all the app. I have to reload the page. And then I will see all the apps here. So that's already the all magic of this. I can now show shortly the list. It's straightforward. Uh, we can define the sort order, the title, the description, a link. This is where the, the user will be, will navigate and also uh, language. We should always have a default language for a, for an entry, and then you can define an app ID. Here it's a number, but you can also define whatever you want, and you can also mix a different language. Here we see we have different language for the same app ID. Now I switch to the code. I will first start with the application customizer, and here we see a method which activates this shy observer. If I go to the method, I have to jump at the end. And we are here uh, observing a development with a class starting with L row. So every time something is added or uh, updated in this, uh, uh, in this tree, uh, HTML tree, then we, we get here control and we can look at a class which start with shy header, which is injected by the SharePoint app. And then we check if this class is, uh, exists. We check if our element, which is in, injected also as a div with the name user shy, uh, apps shy. We check if this element is present. If it's not present, then we inject our uh, menu widget and we also uh, disconnect the observer. That's the whole magic, and the other observer works uh, like this one. Now I will go to the web part. And the web part, we can see the three uh, different components search, user app, and all app. These are the same component which you have seen in the UI, and the whole uh, component are under state management. That's uh, how it, it works, so that the component uh, get notified if something changed. For example, if the user uh, searches searches for a, for a text, then uh, an action is uh, dispatched. The state is updated by the reducer and the user app and the all apps component get notified. Now, for example, if uh, a user clicked in the all apps for uh, pinning an app, then can, we can uh, look at this. I will use this method on pin click. And this method first uh, removed the item from the all app is the bottom part of the UI, then it adds this uh, item in the My App. It's the upper part of the item. And then we have here a little trick because we want a smooth transition with all this animation. So uh, basically in this component, we control how the CSS animation is done in the other control. So these are the two flags which we use, and they are used to control which kind of style are here. For example, you see here, we just uh, put this style if uh, style and pin animation, and so if uh, if we need them. So that's all. Thank you, Nicole. Back to you. Thank you, Nello. So if you really like this, solution you can surely download it on our github 
If you want to read more, just go to our blog post on Punto Bello. And if you have any question, you can connect with us on LinkedIn or on GitHub. So thank you for your attention. Thank you.